hello guys uh welcome back to my channel based on african motives are uh, still working on engineering science and tools so you have got the question which is uh, on friction from the question paper of april 2021 that you are going to uh, focus on uh, so actually if you're new to this uh, channel guys you can consider subscribing so that you won't uh, miss any of the classes that we shall be having uh, from us on African motives working on question papers and revisions so in this platform like I said we shall focus on the question paper which was written in April 2021 that is on friction there so we had uh, a body with a mass of 40 kgs is placed on an inclined plane at an angle of 25 degrees with the horizontal the coefficient of friction between the body and the plane is 0.2 um then the following calculate the following okay so there we just need at least to have a presentation of the body that we are talking about which is going up and inclined so we know that um, if it is going up and inclined it's just supposed to be something like this just uh, draw a simpler diagram guys that you just understand what you are having there so this is the board that you are having uh, which is making an angle of what 25 degrees with the incline here it makes an angle of 20 and it's 40 kgs okay so this is 40 kgs here and 20 degrees here all right uh, is it 20 or 25 this is 25 guys all right this is 25 25 degrees all right something like this this is 25 then what else do we have we've got the coefficient of uh, friction which is 0 0.2 okay which is 0 0.2 like this okay so from this information uh let's see how we're supposed to answer uh the first question there so let's just cross check uh here we know that uh, according to this board we shall have uh, different types of uh, reactions that are going to happen in this case and uh, all right so let's start uh, first by indicating what the object is doing the object is placed on an incline which is horizontal so if it is on an incline therefore we are going to have the frictional force because it's going to go this direction going downwards which is the parallel uh, component which is parallel component or fs like this then it is going to be opposed obviously by the friction uh, force that you're going to have then the perpendicular that you're going to have which is fx or fy or you can write as fc then um, we have got the normal one and uh, this one which is mg which is the weight component okay so that's what you're going to have something like that on the diagram but that's not important because we need to calculate the weight component perpendicular to the play, to the incline. So remember, the one that is perpendicular, that's your FC, or you can write this as F perpendicular like this. Just one and the same thing, okay? So that's 6.1. So the perpendicular component from our formulas, guys, remember, is W cos theta, okay? where w represents mg so it's going to be mg cos theta that is the weight component there okay so we've got the mass remember that g is equivalent to 9.8 meters per square second so you're just going to substitute 40 times 9.8 so it's going to be 40 times 9.8 cos times cos the angle which is cos 25 degrees the angle that is in between which is 25 degrees there all right so multiplying properly you're going to obtain something like three five five comma two seven three and this is force which is actually measured in newton so this is uh, the perpendicular component like i said you can write this as fc you can write this as fx one and the same thing okay that's your perpendicular uh, component then uh, on point two you're now given to calculate the weight component parallel to the plane this time is parallel which is uh, f parallel this one so f parallel which is going to carry in sign so this is 6.2 all right so we've got f parallel which is w 
sine theta and we said w is mg so it's going to be mg sine theta since we do not have this part so like i said this can be written as f parallel which can be fy or it can be fs depending with how you want to write it mg is this still the same the mass and the gravitational acceleration of 9.8 so that's 40 by 9.8 by sine which is sine the same angle that you had here which is sine 25 degrees so it's going to be sine 25 degrees like this all right so here i actually obtained something like 165.66 so just use your calculator properly there 5 is it 5 5 8 6, something like that but if you round off to three decimal places you can just write this 6 6 it's going to be because this is 3 so it's going to be 1 comma 6 6 6 like this okay so this is going to be your parallel component which is measured in newtons again so that's your 6.2 where so let's see another part where we are given to calculate the frictional force so remember the relationship between the frictional force and uh, the normal uh, force which is uh, actually given from the coefficient of friction let's just write down the formula we know that the coefficient of friction this is a 6.3 6.3 we know that the coefficient of friction is equal to the frictional force over normal friction, which is which is actually opposed because this is where having on which and it's opposed by the what the perpendicular uh, component so which means actually here is the same as the friction as the coefficient of friction is the frictional force over the perpendicular component that is the idea there so if it is if you want to calculate this we can actually just substitute here your coefficient of friction is there we've got 0 comma 2 so that's 0 comma 2 is equal to the frictional force over the perpendicular which we obtained here is 355 whatever that we obtained here that is what you're going to substitute here so that is 355,273 alright so you can just cross multiply because you want to calculate what you want to calculate this one so you can cross multiply yeah just like that guys you can just cross multiply which means 1 times f is going to be f there then you multiply 0, 0,2 times which is going to give you seven one comma zero five four six newton so you can round it off or you can just leave it like that still uh, it's fine or you can just round it off uh, depending with how you want to express it by that one uh, the decimals which are there they are fine you can leave them like that okay the minimum force now we are asked to calculate the minimum force required to pull the body up the incline what is the minimum force required to pull the body up the incline so we are talking about the one that is required to pull the body up the incline so we need f up okay the minimum force that you're going to use to pull it up so f up which is going to be 6.4 so this is your f up here which is going to be frictional plus uh, the parallel uh, component that you're going to have because it's going up here so yeah that is the frictional part here which is 71 comma this one you can take as it is 71 71 comma 0546 plus the parallel uh, component we calculated this guys uh, the parallel component okay here it is which is this one 165 whatever that you have this is 165,666 uh, which is going upwards because it's supposed to go up there all right so there you need to add those values that you are given uh, and obtain the answer guys i did mistake of not adding this alas, separately let me just add and see 71.0546 plus 
all right which is going to be two three six comma seven two zero six or which can be two three six comma seven two comma seven two one all right which is uh, that's the f up so take note guys we are asked to calculate the minimum force required to pull the body up if it was down it's going to be f down which is going to be uh, f uh, the frictional force minus if it was f down but f up we're going to add so that was the idea there you just correct up your question and um, how it was given this is what you're supposed to do guys uh, make sure that you correct up that part uh, but that's it from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.